Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to the final Winnipeg Jets Legend Be a GM mode. This is going to be the entire playoffs, whether we get through the first round, through the second round, through the third round, go all the way to the cup, it doesn't matter. This is going to be the last episode of this GM mode. I've made a decision, we talked about it, I got your guys' comments. I think the general consensus is that we should do one more for the end of NHL 15. Make it awesome. That's exactly what we're going to do. 25 years coming right up. But we are here now with our Winnipeg Jets. Give you one quick look at our team here going into the playoffs. Korea, McKinnon, Timu. Uh, we got Forsberg, Hurdle, Palat, Ellers, Kruger, Andrew Shaw, Bjorkstrand, Lawton, and Skapsky. And we got Joe Money, Truba, D'Angelo, Stahl, Alexiak, and Malosh. And in the cage, the kid. Can we still call him a kid? 24 years old, the kid Eric Comrie, there he is. The start to his NHL career as a NHL starter cannot go any better. Look at that. 43 and 21 and 41 and 16. The guy is incredible. 10 shutouts in his rookie year. That is some Tony Esposito stuff. He is a beast. But let's go all the way over here to the Dallas Stars in round number one. This one, this is, we're definitely going to have our hands tied here. We, I don't know if we're going to make it past these guys. Look at this team that they have. Oh my god. Jamie Ben, Tyler Sagan, and Valerie Nachuskin for the first line. Ben and Tyler Sagan, 96 overall. He progressed to be absolutely amazing. Uh, obviously Nachuskin there, a really young sniper on the right wing. Uh, we got Rivet, you got Medano, and McKenzie. So I mean, uh, I mean, actually, aside from their top like four pretty much Jimmy Ben, Tyler Sagan, Achuskin and Medano. It really doesn't look that fantastic overall wise but I mean it's very well rounded. Not a player under 80 overall and the majority of them are like 82 83, 84. So uh, that's not too bad at all. They got uh, Grenhart, they got Cody Eakin, the best third liner in GM history. Uh, Gautier, Roussel, Ryan Hart and Richie. Then on to the defense here I guess. Uh, oh wow it's actually not that good. I guess they're paying Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan a ridiculous amount so they had cheap out on their defense it looks like. But Dylan uh, Nosborough. I have no idea how to pronounce that guy's name. Got O's with some lines through him. Looks real weird. Goligoski's always dropped all the way to an 80 overall. Josh George's Barrio and Trevor Daly is still here, 76 overall, and they got Jack Campbell and Andre Pavlik. Okay, they have the have the ex Winnipeg Jet Andre Pavlik. So I think the thing that's gonna get us past these guys is scoring, because their defense does not look very good, and uh, I mean just their D just looks terrible. So I think we're gonna have to capitalize on that, but we do have to play good D ourselves, because I mean 96 overall, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, they have their ridiculous offensively skilled so let's go first period one 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 nothing that rivet guy the second line left winger okay period number two one one there you go thomas hurdle of the second liners coming out to play that's what i like to see teenage mutant ninja hurdle it's weird he never really got the boost that i uh, i expected him to when i traded for him but still 84 overall philip forsberg second liner again beats jack campbell just from underneath the face off dot as a power play game winning goal we actually had a total of 10 more shots uh, as you can quickly see there, we had a total of 10 more shots. So, uh, I mean, getting past their defense, just peppering Jack Campbell, I think is the way we're going to come out of this series on top. I'll take game one at home. I'll definitely take game one. But the key here is game two. We got to play our hearts over here. I want like a four goals here. We got to just light up this defense. Let's go. Period number one. All right. Zero, zero. Period two. One, one. All right. going to be a very low scoring series, it looks like. They have Andre Pavlik in the net. I don't know why. Uh, but McKinnon scores there and Babario, the defenseman, gets one for the Dallas stars 1-1 here 15 minutes left in the third period oh nice kill guys nice kill come on come on get get one late philip forsberg i'm looking at you buddy going to some ot it looks like here oh boy oh boy we're out shooting them again oh tyler sagan of course 96 overall cannot shut that guy up for long i think he had like 64 goals one year and uh i mean the dude is just an unreal player 96 overall like seriously one of the better players i've seen progress in 
in GM all the way up to 96. Uh, let's go here. Game number three in the American Airlines Arena, Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Let's light up this goalie. Let's just light him up. Everything's bigger in Texas. So will our goals. Let's go. First period. Oh, no. They're playing good in front of their home fans. Rusil and Mike Medano. Okay. Period number two. Three. Huge, huge period. Korea, Solani, and Andre Palat take a commanding one goal lead. Oh, my God. Mike Medano. Not really that commanding. Uh, oh, there you go. Malosh gets a huge power play goal. They started to rush. Maybe their goalie got hurt. Maybe I missed uh, Maybe I missed something. Jack Campbell. Uh, there you go. Malosh gets his first career. I think that's his first career playoff goal. A game winning goal, might I add. Uh, Jack Campbell might actually be hurt. Uh, that would really help us out. Is he injured? Uh, can I see the injury thing? Uh, player injuries. Where is it? Dallas. Yeah, Jack Campbell has been injured. So that's good news for us. Maybe Scott Lawton went through. Oh no, Andre Palat, April 28th. He's probably done for the series. I'm going to go best roster there because I think they're just going to move Scott Lawton and just everybody up, move him one, so I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't know when Palat will be back. He'll probably be back in round number two, but we have a 2-1 lead here. Uh, who's this guy? St. John's play. You can just be right there. Uh, let's go here. We're going into game number four with a 2-1 lead. Let's make it a 3-1 lead, boys. Here we go. First period. Okay, 0-0. Zero, zero. Period 2. 1-1. One, one. So many games have been like this. It's been, we have the exact same amount of shots in the first period. The second period, we have a 1-1 one, one lead. And then somebody breaks out in the third period. But McKinnon gets a big power play goal. And then Brandon Dillon, shorthanded, gets one for them. Them. Ties it up at one here going into the third. Come on, come on, come on. One. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be way easier to score. Jay Money. There we go. Jo oh, my God. Babario. Go away, buddy. Josh Morrissey gets one, but Babario comes right back under a minute later and scores one. And Thomas Hurdle scores with 23 seconds left, giving us a huge 3-1 to one series lead here. We could say goodbye. We could say goodbye to Dallas in the next game. Mike Wendano had two helpers. Uh, that's all right. We, we we lost Palat. Oh, Timu Solani, May 1st. Oh, my God. I'm going best lines all over again. Let's get through one more game. Okay, let's get through one more game. We've been riddled with injuries. I don't even care. Let's get through one more game, and then we can uh, take a look at our little Maybe we can take a look at our lines here, figure out what the hell we're going to do. But first period, 2-0, Jay Money gets both. Josh Morrissey, what a beast. Period number two, 3-0, Nikolai Ellers, there you go. So I guess having Jack Campbell injured, they were really screwed. Scott Lawton lights him up there, 4 to nothing, And it looks like we're going to go to round number two. I thought this was going to be a lot harder, but uh, I guess once they lost Jack Campbell and having the lack of defense that they do... I I guess it was. Uh, I guess it was pretty easy for us to stomp all over them. Big two goals there from Jay Money. Truba had two helpers. Now let's see what we're gonna face in round number two. We got past them really easy. Uh, Jimmy Ben didn't have a goal, which was nice. We're gonna get Palat back pretty quick here, and I don't know how long Solani is injured for. May first, so that's like next month. Um, that's the uh, St. John's. They had a terrible year. Twenty-one forty-eight. Uh, this is brutal. Um, Wonder who we're going to get in round two. All right, so we got Palat back. Looks like Timu's going to be back in six days under a week. Maybe we'll get him back before the second round starts. That would be just perfect. That would be unreal. Come on, come on. One more day here. Come on, let's get it here. We need Timu to come back in a big way. Oh, Nashville. Okay, we got him back. Good. Okay, so everything should be back to normal now, but we do have the Nashville Predators. We have faced them year in and year out. Oh, my God. This is going to be a great series. Yeah, they always have really good series with these guys. Uh, goalie, Comrie, we're rolling with them. Let's go. Let's check it to see what uh, was quickly have a look here at Nashville's team if they've made any changes at all which I don't think they would uh, because they obviously had such a good squad but uh, yeah it looks pretty much the exact same. So what I can see here is they have some more depth. They have uh, Carlson 85 on the third line finger there. They have Steve Downey Bork, Conacher Boyle, Smith Helm and Evander Kane James Neal, Craig Smith and 99 overall fucking Radulov. The guy eats us up uh, we got Seth Jones Shea Weber, Yossi Ellers, 
Baldwin and Cogliano. So they're a very, very good team. And they have uh, that w that Weber guy and Pekka Rene in the cage. So we know exactly what to do here. We're fully healthy. Jay Money's been scoring at a great pace. Had three goals in five games last series. Let's keep it going, boys. We're rolling through this. Let's go. First period. 2-1. Okay, Radulov. The, you cannot shut this guy up, man. He is so good. Radulov, Jay Money again, and Roman Yossi. Gets a dagger. 11 seconds left. Gets the one goal lead going into the second period. 4-2. Oh, we got Boyle here. We got Hurdle, who's been playing great. And then Carlson on the on the third line. It's not over yet, boys. Come on. Lots of hockey to be played here. Let's go times four. Slow it down a bit. We're only down by two goals. All we need is one. Oh, there it is. Vander Kane puts this one away. I cannot see a score in four goals here. Uh, they're a very well-rounded team. Like They have really good offense, really good defense defense. Their goalie is not fantastic, but he can definitely get the job done at 84 overall. 5-2 to two loss in the first game. Evander Kane, man, he always seems to just score on us constantly whenever we play Nashville, and we've and we've played Nashville a lot. Exact same with Radulov. He's just been a monster. Uh, let's go game number two here. Let's go first period. 1-1, one, one, Andrew Shaw and James, the real deal, Neil. Period number two. 2-2. Two, two. Alright, D'Angelo gets a big power play one and Ryan Ellis defenseman scoring here there you go Nathan McKinnon that's why we picked you up where's Korea been oh fucking Radulov where's Korea where's Timu been no goals from those guys yet come on 3-3 three, three, all tied up shots are pretty even come on guys pepper the net pepper this guy Weber I don't even know who this guy is probably some drafted guy there you go Paul Korea I call him out and Hurdle Hurdle's been scoring like crazy uh, Paul Korea gets a huge goal there Jay Money gets an empty net or just to pad the stats a little bit and we have our great third period we had a really good last five minutes three goals in the last five minutes Jay Money had five points oh my god he had four helpers and a goal like get that guy a player of the game card holy how much minutes did this guy play holy shit he played unreal uh, 28 minutes of ice holy crap that's awesome going back to Nashville here Nashville Tennessee let's go boys period number one one nothing Josh Morrissey oh my god this guy is incredible holy shit period number two three to one James Neal gets one but Skapsky and Stahl get goals for us putting us up three to one going into the third period we need one more and there it is Skapsky gets another one we're just rolling through this 15 minutes in we're already halfway through here uh, so we're gonna get a four to one victory that's awesome there you go boys that's what I'm talking about we are a we're a sick team is what we are we are a super, super sick team. Jay Money has seven points in the last two games. Uh, the guy has just been playing beyond un unreal. I'm kind of going pretty quick here because I do want to record our next GM, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this playoff right here. Let's go. Period number one. One, two, nothing. Paul Curry. There you go. The legendary. The legend's coming through. Period two. Two, two. Okay. Vander Kane. Korea gets another one. He's been kind of awake the past couple of games. And then Darren Helm gets a one there to tie it up going into the third. Philip Forsberg, the ex-National Predator, and Steve Downey comes right back. Come on, guys. 14th 13. We need a big goal here. Anthony D'Angelo, you beauty. You beautiful human being. What a goal. 4-3 there. Oh, Radulov, you motherfucker. You bastard. Oh, James Neal. We just, oh, they just got on us and just did not stop. Gets, uh, Radulov ties it up there with under two minutes left and then 24 seconds into OT. Get a huge goal from James, the real deal, Neal. We're all tied up at two. Going back home here. Going back to Winnipeg, Manitoba. The MTS Center place is just rocking. Chanting, J Money, J Money. First period. 0 0. All right. Period number two. 1 to nothing. T Moo, T Moo. Finally, he shows up, gets a big goal. McKinnon's been, been playing good, but the wingers have been kind of slacking. Four on three power play. Five on four. Score a goal, guys. Come on. We need one. We need one. There you go. Philip Forsberg gets the empty netter, and we are up three. 3-2 against the Nashville Predators. We're just rolling right now. We're just rolling on these guys. Jay Money had another helper. Jesus. That's only Timu's second goal of the whole playoffs, but we're winning, so I'm not going to worry about it. 
as long as the team gets a W, I'm happy. And we could potentially put Nashville out here in game number six. Let's go first period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, period number two. one nothing. Nathan McKinnon. Okay, looking pretty good here, McKinnon. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Big uh, big kill there. Got on power play. Oh, come on, guys. You got to get the power play goals. This is making me nervous here. Only being up by one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Truba gets the empty netter and once again Eric Comrie proves that he is well prepared to be a legit starting goal and even top five in the NHL he's that good 31 stops at a boy on to round number three just like that six games for Nashville and we're up against the Edmonton Oilers here they're big bad Oilers with Gretzky Nugent Hopkins Flynn who's a really good goalie that they ended up drafting uh, let's just continue on. I mean, we're on a roll right now. No need to take a break. Nothing like that. Let's go all the way to Edmonton and see uh, how they are doing. Uh, they got Hall, Gretzky, and Eberle. Just a sick line. They picked up they picked up uh, David Backus at the trade deadline this year. I remember, I remember that. He's 87 overall. That makes their top six just scary. Uh, Backus, Nuja Hopkins, and Yakupov. Como the homo. Uh, we have Anisimov, Pouliot, McKenzie, Drysaddle, and McDonald. And then defensively is uh, that Nazarov guy. That actually won the Norris one year. Uh, Justin Schultz, Clefbaum. Wow, their D is stacked. Marinson, Nurse, and Petrie. And in the cage, they have Flynn and Anderson. Flynn was one of the drafted goalies, I think in like year number one or year number two. But let's waste no time here. Let's go first period here. MTS. Let's go period number one. one nothing. The new from Pack Attack scores a nice goal. Probably was a, was a nice toe drag. Uh, period number two. One one. Nathan McKinnon. There you go. Man, McKinnon's been playing so good. I bet Mark Shifley would never do that. Out of boy McKinnon gets a big goal. He's been scoring at will. Oh, McKenzie, the fourth liner. Come on. Come on, times four here. Let's go. Seven, six, five. We need a big goal here. Jay Money, I'm looking at you. Or Skapsky. There you go. Gets a huge goal. Four minutes left. Going into OT, hopefully. Okay, OT. Come on, guys. Come on, Jay Money. I'm looking at you, buddy. Or Truba. Or <laughs> you go. Jay Money on a slap shot from the point. Gets a huge goal with Josh Morrissey. I ask and I shall receive his seventh goal of the playoffs. Not to add, he's got nine helpers. He's going for a he's going for a con Smythe nomination right here dude's playing unreal at a boy J money he's so good holy shit all right period number one game number two two nothing Philip Forsberg and Andre Palat the second line is just clicking right now period number two all oh, they tie it up some defensemen here. They got Clefbaum and Nazurov gets uh, gets a goal apiece, tying it up at two. Come on, boys. Oh, Yak. Yak City, bitch. Yak, Yak City. Nail Yakupov gets a big goal. 3-2. Stop giving up these power plays, boys. Come on. We're out shooting them here. All we need is one. Skapsky, buddy, you've had an unreal playoff. Where's Kruger been? We need our depth. Come on, we need our depth. Oh, Nazurov gets another one. 4-2. We're going to drop game number two to the Edmonton Oilers. That's right that's totally okay Flynn had a good night we had quite a bit of uh, pucks to the net but we could not beat Flynn uh, he was just killing it right now he's got 18 points already let's go game number three in Edmonton Alberta short little trip here from Winnipeg to Edmonton let's go first period one nothing David Backus on the power play okay period number two three to one oh my god Solani and Nisimov and James Wisniewski comes up I didn't even see Wisniewski on the defense. Maybe someone got hurt and they had to put Wisniewski in there. Uh, Andrew Shaw. Okay, Andrew Shaw. Times six. Let's slow it down here. Times four. Uh, Andrew Shaw gets a nice backhand goal on Flynn. Come on. We're out. we're out shooting him here, but their defense is so good. And, of course, Gretzky gets the empty netter. The great one. 99 scores a huge goal there. Come on. Ah, garbage. Okay, so we uh, we drop game three to Edmonton in a back to back four to two. We've we've lost back to back games four to two. Was there some injuries going on that I don't really know about. Clefbaum was injured, so they probably called. Uh, they probably called up. Uh, yeah, they probably called up uh, Wisniewski there. So that's why that's what happened. Let's go game number four. Period number one. Two to one. Korea and Salani, the legends, coming out to play. 
play, and Taylor Hall gets a gets a nice goal there. Uh, eight to five are the shots. Let's keep their shots low and keep our shots high. Come on. Period number two. Three to one. Philip Forsberg. There you go. At a boy Forsberg. Three one. Oh, three two. Jordan Eberle. I spoke too soon. Come on, guys. We need one here. Jay Money. I'm looking to you, buddy. Come on. I need a big goal here. Need a big goal. Need a big goal. No, I don't. Hurdle gets one. Skopsky gets another. And Eric Comrie has a pretty easy night. Stops 14 pucks. They didn't get much rubber to the net at all. And uh, Simu had two points. Philip Forsberg had two. And we finally, we tie up the series here at two. Going into game number five. Huge, crucial game. We're at home. We need a huge W here. Take a stranglehold on the series. Let's go. First period. 2 nothing. McKinnon and Kruger. Finally, Kruger wakes up, scores a goal. There you go. Period two. Two nothing still. They're out shooting us. Not by much. It's a, a little margin, but every shot counts right now. Every shot counts. 22. Oh, come on, Comrie. Truba gets a power play goal. Captain Truba, Nail Yakupov, ruins the shutout with a power play. And we get the big victory. Three to one there. Uh, going into game number six, we can advance to the Stanley Cup finals here. We can do it. What a way to go out. Come on, boys. First period. Three to one. Oh, my God. God, there you go. Alexiak has a, rarely ever scores. Alexiak rarely ever scores, but he waits till the playoffs, and he usually gets a couple of random goals here, but they are huge goals. Waits till the perfect time to score. Out of boy, Alexiak. Hurdle gets one, and Timu gets another. Gretzky gets one right there, but we come back with three goals. 3-1 three, going into the second period. 4-1, to one, D'Angelo gets a power play goal, and you cannot write this stuff. Philip Forsberg gets a big power play goal. We looks like, I mean, barring any miracles right now, now, Solani makes it 6-1. to one. We're going to the cup final. Jordan Eberle gets another one. 6-2. Uh, make that 7-2 Forsberg. It's, I think I'm pretty sure that's a hat trick for uh, Philip Forsberg. Make it 7-3. to three, But exit this game was way too far gone after the first period. Uh, was that a hat trick for him? Uh, Philip Forsberg, no. He actually only had two goals. But Hurdle had four points. Hurdle's been playing amazing, man. Hurdle's been playing really, really well. And we are off to the stand. Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, oh boy, we're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Looks like we're either going to face Tampa Bay Lightning or the... Oh, there it is, Tampa Bay. It was, it's either going to be Tampa or the New York Rangers, which could have been interesting. Uh, you'll see why in my next GM mode. But up against the Tampa Bay Lightning, Steven Stamkos, Jonathan Bernier... Steven Stamkos, oh my goodness, this might be a ridiculous series here. Two crazy offensive powers here. Goals, we are tied for number four. We're actually tied with our own player. Uh, Radulov has, has four. And where are we for points? So goals, we are number four and number five, which is kind of nice. And assists, we are number two, number three, number five, and number six. So we're getting the points up there for sure. Nikita Kucherov is leading the way one. One more point than Jay Money. Timu's right there and Korea's right there as well. Uh, wins, where is Tampa Bay? They have some De Silva guy. I don't even know who this guy is. We've been rolling through this 20, almost half an hour in and we're basically, we're basically all the way done. This is going to be the last little bit here and how fitting because Tampa Bay, Andrew Ladd, one of the original Winnipeg Jets now going to be in the last playoff series of the Winnipeg Jets GM history as a Tampa Bay Lightning player though. So let's see what kind of team they have. They have obviously Stamkos, Connolly, and Ladd. Very interesting. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, obviously Stamkos, 96 overall makes Ladd and Connolly pretty much like 90 overalls. Uh, Panic, Kalorn, and Kucherov. It's like a pretty sick line there. I know Killorn is just a playoff performer. Uh, they have Michael Raffle, Name Mistakov, and Ryan Callahan, Robson, Trambolet, and Cam Atkinson. So this is exactly what I want our next GM mode to be like. Look how look at how many original Tampa Bay players they have, and we're in year number seven. They have Stamkos, Connolly, Kucherov, Callahan, Namus Dankov, Panic, and I mean their defense: Headman, Slater, Cuckoo, Rico. 
Goodass. They're all original players. Uh, but they have Victor Hedman, obviously, Sl- Slater Cuckoo, Mike Levo there. I think it's Mike Levo. Maybe it's a drafted player. Maybe I just made that up. I have no idea. Uh, Goodass, uh, Puffle, is that how you pronounce your name? And Tim Erickson, and obviously Ben Bishop and De Silva in the cage. Round number four, Stanley Cup Finals. Let's do it. Let's go. First period here, game number one, MTS in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Crowd is going crazy. They want another cup. Let's go. First period. one nothing. Andrew Shaw on the big guy, Ben Bishop. All right. Period number two. two nothing. Jacob Truba, you beautiful dude. There you go. Nikolai Ellers gets another one. 3 nothing. All right. There you go. 3 nothing, boys. That's how I like to see it. 27 shots. We're just peppering Ben. Ben Bishop with rubber all night long. Uh, oh, Steven Stamkos gets one. Why is McCollum in net? Why is McCollum in net? Wait a minute. Ben Bishop la- allows another one. D'Angelo on the, on the on the power play. But why is McCollum in net? I mean, nonetheless, he made 21 saves. But why? What? Is he injured? Uh, hold on here. Jay Money had three helpers. Uh, ooh, Comrie might have been injured. He had a shutout going into the third period. And then McCollum comes in and, al- and allows two. Oh, my my god if Comrie is injured what he's not injured what what happened there uh, he what why did they start McCollum oh that was terrifying if we'd have to go through this without Comrie what the hell maybe he like sprained his ankle or something I don't know he he got credited with the victory maybe you just need to walk it off maybe it was just a bit of a stinger uh, let's go here game number two Let's go. First period. 2-1. Steven Stamkos gets one to start it off. But Truba and F- Philip Forsberg strike right back. 16 shots in the first period. Period number two. All right. Still 2-1. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on, guys. Hold it down here. Comrie's playing great. Oh, I jinxed it. Sorry, buddy. Steven Stamkos gets a big goal there. I don't want him to wake up. He has had two goals this game. Raffle gets another one. Oh, my God. We're going to drop game. Game two, even though we had 37 shots on net, Raffle ruins our two nothing lead there. That's Steven Stamkos's ninth goal. That's his ninth goal of the playoffs. Come on, guys, let's go. We've got to bounce back in a huge way, bounce back in a massive way. Let's go. First period, three to one. Oh my god, Ryan Callahan, Connolly, and Ruan. Paul Correa gets one for us, but uh, this game, oh man, we got to have a huge second period here. Period number two, three, three. That's what I'm talking about. Hurdle and Paul Correa. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's a huge second period that we needed. Oh man, asking you shall receive. Paul Correa, Korea. The guy has been playing great the last two playoff rounds. He's been playing unreal. boy, Korea. There you go. D'Angelo gets one on his old team. He should have never traded me this young stud. 85 overall. Scoring goals at will here. 5-3. to three. There you go. 6-3. to three. Korea. He is on fire. Who is that guy? Oh, he's the guy we, uh, we actually got in, in the trade. Holy shit. Goals, goals, goals. 8-3. to three. Uh, But Abu Asli, why are you playing? Uh, probably for Bjorkstrand. I think uh, the assistant GM must have stretched out much I guess they must have put out Bjorkstrand but uh, eight unanswered goals eight Korea had four I didn't even notice that there was so many goals happening Korea had four goals and Abu Asli my man come through with a huge goal the big goal number seven uh, and we just have score eight unanswered goals yeah that's right eight you heard that right eight that is six plus two come on let's go in Tampa Bay first period four two oh my god what is with these shitty first periods guys six goals in the first period here Pal- Pat, um, Palat gets one for us. Druan answers right back. D'Angelo answers back, getting a 2-1 lead. And we allow three. Atkinson, Levo, and then Victor Hedman. Come on, guys. Big second period again. Let's go. Okay, it's not quite as good as I thought, but we get one more goal, making it 4-3. Oh, 5-3, Steven Stamkos. Why are you so good at hockey? Can you answer me that? Why are you so good? We had eight goals on. We had eight unanswered goals last time. There you go, Ellers. Cuts the lead to one. 
Come on, come on, come on, guys. We're out. Sh we, I mean, we're out shooting him like crazy. I know Bishop's big. Go high on him. Oh, Andrew Ladd, you bastard. Why did I ever trade you? Oh, we lose six to four. It's, this whole series has just been ridiculous. Like the amount of goals that are being scored. There's just like there's no defense anywhere to be found. Uh, but we need some big goals from Jay Money. He's been pretty quiet lately. Uh, Mark Stahl has been injured. I don't even care. We're going number one lines. We've got to go best lines here. You know what? i got to see who they're putting in as a uh, replacement because uh, I mean, we've, we've been playing good, so I don't really want to mess up anything too crazy. Uh, they put Scott Lawton on defense. That's why I decided to check it. Uh, I cannot have Scott Lawton playing defense defense. we got to bring up Robert Hag and then we'll go best lines there. So Scott Lawton's going to go there and obviously Hag is going to go there. Uh, we need some goal scoring though. We need a hurdle. He's been playing excellent 15 points in 21 games. Right, we need Timu to score some goals. He's been playing pretty good. 20 points in 20 games. McKinnon could score a little bit more. He's got 6 goals. Uh, Kruger, Lawton, Skapsky. I'm looking at my bottom 6 right now. I need some performance from you guys. Need some performance performance uh we are all tied up at two game number five this is a crucial game come on boys we're at home you know how to play no pep talk needed first period zero zero okay no one wants to give up an inch here period number two two one there you go jay money thank you you ask this guy and he will just give you goals andrew shaw gets one and andrew ladd cuts the lead to one going into the third period come on guys come on guys i don't oh josh Moore. Percy shorthanded. The guy's doing it all. Nathan McKinnon, two shorthanded goals. Whoever took that penalty for Tampa Bay is getting benched for sure. What a clown. Oh, huge, huge game five. Oh, my God. That is just a huge weight off of our shoulders here. Going into game six, we can put Tampa Bay out and end this GM. But Morrissey had four points. We could end this GM mode on a ridiculously positive note. This has been, oh, and we got Mark Stahl back. Great. Okay, perfect. Uh, oh boy, we need, just need to calm down here. Just whew, points. Josh Morris, he has 32. Oh my god, 10 more points than anybody else in the whole league. Let's go. Time six the whole time. Putting the controller down. Game number six. Okay, not a very good start. Steven Stamkos. There you go. Nikolai Ellers comes right back. He's had a really good playoff as well. Thomas Hurdle, there you go. Goals, goals, goals. Where's the defense? Oh boy, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whew, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous here. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous. I just know Tampa Bay can swing like three goals back to back to back. So we got to play good defense here. Jay Money, I know you want to score goals, buddy, but for once I'm going to ask you to stay back. Let's get... Oh no, Robson, who are you? Who is this Robson guy? Robson, what the hell? Okay, 12 minutes left. Oh boy, I am honestly so nervous right now. Oh, we're definitely going to go into some OT here. Six, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's cut to overtime. All right, here we go. Overtime is starting. Epic music is playing. This is going to be a crazy ending here. Whew, let's go. Oh, Stamkos in the slot. Oh, 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 my God, Stammer. Do not let Stamkos there. Get it up here to Timu. Come on, Timu. Just get it on net. Get a rebound. You got Korea going in front. Do something with it, you clown. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, you cannot write this. You cannot write this stuff. I call him a clown and he scores, but you cannot write this. Game six, overtime, and our ledge. I mean, I could not have planned this any better. I actually have goosebumps right now. Like, Timu Solani. That's Timu, the legend, scores the goal. <laughs> oh, my God. I could not. That could. You can't write that stuff. That cannot happen any better. And oh, we go out here with a Stanley Cup victory and look at this Jay Money gets the con Smythe 32 points in 24 games or whatever it was my goodness get your first Stanley Cup as captain of the Winnipeg Jets Jacob Truba there it is this is one's going to be forever lasting that is a beautiful thing I was not expecting it to be that soon and of course you I mean it's just perfect look at this Timu goal just comes in 
in. Whoops. Oh, baby. T. Mussolini on Ben Bishop. I mean, what a way to go out. I could not have that. I mean, I honestly have no idea what to say. That is uh, it's amazing. It's amazing that we did this all in one take. It's amazing that T. Mussolini got the overtime winner to win us the Stanley Cup. It's amazing that we've, uh, that we've done this. It's an absolutely amazing, outstanding job this year. Bringing home the Stanley Cup is something every owner dreams about. I knew you could do it. On behalf of the Winnipeg Jets organization, thanks for all your hard work. That is a great way to go out. Thank you to the amazing organization of the Winnipeg Jets. I had a lot of fun doing this. I want to thank you guys for sticking around through the ups, through the downs. Uh, just incredible. I'm going to continue to play this on my own. Maybe every, maybe I'll make a video on it every 10 years or something. Just do like an update or something. If you guys would like that, let me know. But here is your Stanley Cup winners. A bunch of absolute beauties, including this guy, Jay Money. I cannot believe how unreal this guy got to be. I didn't even edit his potential. He grew to that. He grew to the four, he grew to the five stars. Like he is just absolutely amazing. An absolute playoff performer, a seasoned performer. I cannot wait to play more GMO with this guy. Uh, obviously, the goaltenders, we had a big controversy there. We had to deal with either Comrie or it was going to be Reimer. I was so close to dealing Comrie for like a first round pick and a prospect, but we decided to go with the kid, went with the young stud, and it paid off for us. Let's check out the awards here. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs won us down the cup. What are you talking about? Uh, I guess we got to uh, simulate a couple more days. I'm like, what? Was that not the Stanley Cup? What? Uh, got to simulate a couple more days until it says like the whole Stanley Cup thing. Uh, let me quickly do this. Where are we going here? I guess we're getting through the AHL playoffs. Uh, our team obviously was not in the AHL playoffs because uh, they were poop this year. They were obviously garbage, but 48, 22, and 12, and that was just a Cinderella story to go out. The like Timu Solani, the legend that we that we created, he scores the Stanley Cup winning goal in our last game, in our last game ever for this. Like mark that in history. That is just so it's just epic, is all it is. It's just completely epic. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets, obviously Stanley Cup champions, and I'm gonna stop it right here because I'm going to play this on my own. I'm gonna continue this GM mode uh, on my own time and it's gonna be a lot of fun I cannot wait to do it but we'll check the awards here now that it's obviously updated uh, just an unrighteous I had like the most crazy goosebumps after he scored that because it was just couldn't have been any more perfect here are your award here are your awards one year removed from winning a Stanley Cup but this is good for hockey in Canada the last three Stanley Cup winners have all been Canadian two by the Jets and one by the Leafs presidents went to the Washington Capitals obviously the Clarence went to us. Uh, Art Ross went to Tyler Sagan for uh, the second time in three years. Uh, Hart went to Tyler Sagan for the second time in three years. The Hart and the Art Ross are the exact same for the last four years. Like, it's like, that's pretty cool. Uh, James Norris went to Bobby Orr. Jay Money got snubbed. Uh, Lady Bing went to Tyler Sagan there for the second time in three years. Uh, the Calder went to Nathan Lucent. I think he's that goaltender from uh, the Rangers. Uh, Conn Smythe went to Jay Money. There you go. Uh, Philip Forsberg was the last one to win the Conn Smythe. Jonathan Quick won the Vesna. No love for Comrie. Uh, William M. Jennings went to you. Bill Mastin went to you. Frank J. Selkie went to Taze. Ted Lindsay went to Tyler Sagan for the second time in three years. Uh, the Maurice Rocket Richard went to Stamkos. And there it is. The Stanley Cup champions Winnipeg Jets. Thank you so much for watching and thank Thank you so much for being a part of this. I will have the next GM mode up. Uh, it will have a little bit of a teaser. I'll have a teaser at the end of this video. Just a quick flash of the picture that we're doing for the next GM mode. But thank you for watching. And thank you for making this awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to our brothers down south. We're going to the states. We're going to pick an, an American team for the next GM mode. Thank you guys once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.